We've dropped a major level of support on ICP. The golden zone has been broken to the downside, but the question on everyone's mind is, how cheap can prices go? And you can see things have changed on the ICP chart since the last time we've looked. We've lost a level. We need to put our bulls and bears back into the position that they need to be in because this guy here has just taken out the bull and shoved him back down there because this, we said, was our golden zone. This is the area we needed to hold for a continuation to the upside. That was our golden Fibonacci zone. And we can just pop that in there just to clarify from the swing low to the swing high. And you can see this is our golden area. This is the area we needed to hold. And if you could see what happened, price slammed through here, come back down. And what was support in a bearish trend will act as resistance. And that's exactly what happened. And this shows who's in control at any point. The bears started regaining momentum and started pushing price down. So where's our next major level of support going to be? Next major level of support is going to be this, our 200 daily moving average. That's sat at $10.48. So there's a high probability that price action is going to come back down and test this 200 moving average. And hopefully the buyers will have a turn and then come back and test this re rejection area here. So that's our next resistance zone so sitting between $14, 55 to the bottom end, and $15.67 to the top end. So if you've got a limit order here sat at the 200 moving average as a dollar cost average zone, that makes sense to me. That's something that I'm looking at doing. Right, okay, so how does ICP fare in comparison to its Bitcoin pair? Let's bring that up now. And you can see that we're in a downtrend overall in the macro. We can zoom out on the weekly and you can see that we're in a downtrend. We're making a series of lower highs, lower highs, and then something happened here. We come back down and tested this previous high. We haven't broken and closed, in, and closed above the previous high, which means the trend on the macro scale hasn't actually reversed yet. So what we were looking for, let's go back into the daily, what we were looking for initially was a break to the upside on this bull flag, and that would have showed strength for ICP. However, we broke to the downside, and that's how we can monitor these things. Once you create and flags, you're going to get a directional bias. It's going to do one of two things, and this is how you can prepare for it. A break to the upside, confirmation, retest, and move to the upside. Or you've got a break to the downside, retest here, and then a move to the downside. So that's how you can play bull flags, and that's how you can play bull flags nicely. But what we want to see ultimately on ICP is we need this top broken and closed above, which is sitting at 0 0.003324. We need it to come up, test, and then back to the moon against Bitcoin. So wait to see what happens with Bitcoin in the short term. We're breaking a flag to the downside. We'll just have a quick look. Breaking the flag to the downside. If we do break this to the downside, it's likely to come back, retest this as resistance, and then we'll go and test this 200 daily moving average on Bitcoin. It's currently sat at 49,327. So don't forget, subscribe to the channel, guys. I'll keep you up to date with crypto, and I'll see you in the next one.